What's going on guys, Living Gazamas here, back with another Pokemon Go video, and in today's video guys, yes, we are talking about new season info, and also updates for the month of December, because yes, they did also post a December content update, so we'll talk about that as well, but first things first guys, let's get into some pictures I screenshotted from the season trailer, because there are some good things to look at in that trailer. This is number one, Shadow Ho-Oh confirmed, because because do remember a leak was said that there would be a Shadow Ho-Oh raid weekend soon after of course the Shadow Raid weekend of Lugia so yeah shiny Shadow Ho-Oh should for sure be getting a raid weekend sometime this season which I do believe should be in the month of January so yeah shiny Shadow Ho-Oh pretty much confirmed at this point possibly with a Team Rocket takeover too now the second screenshot this right here this might confirm that upcoming Ditto event I made a video about uh, where it was confused if there would be a Kanto Tour Classic event, uh, but again, that's not going to happen. It's going to be a mini Ditto event, which I think it's going to be like three, four days long. We'll talk about that here soon. And also this screenshot right here, Dr. Pikachu finally shown in a trailer. So this will be dropping sometime this season as well. So I'm super excited for that upcoming costumed Pikachu. So yeah, very, very happy about that. So yeah, now that we got those screenshots out the way, guys, let's go ahead and talk about what was posted on their new season blog page. So if you are waiting for Sinnoh Tour news, it is coming tomorrow morning. So yeah, they should be like confirming the origin form Dialga Palkia situation, all the new shinies featured, whether or not Arceus will be featured at the Sinnoh Tour, all of that should get confirmed tomorrow morning and also they might confirm if there will be an in-person event in Los Angeles, California too. So stay tuned for that information tomorrow morning. Uh, but yeah, first things first, let's get into it guys. So at the start of each month in Timeless Travels, trainers will be able to purchase a new ticketed experience that includes bonuses and time research. Throughout Timeless Travels, you will be able to come across Pokemon found in the Asui region. So yeah, this season is primarily focused on the Asui region and the Sinnoh region too and stock up on items like incubators so yeah we do have some paid time research coming out every single month so if you guys like that for you know bonuses or rewards or pokemon encounters that will be featured at the start of every month do remember upcoming sea days i'm gonna make a video about this soon after this video there will be a catch-up sea day on december 16th and 17th i'll make a video about that like i said here soon uh and also january 6th should be the rowlet sea day and the sea day classic on january 20th should should be Porygon and the sea day on February 4th should be a chancy sea day so we'll see if those leaks are correct if of course Rowlet is the next sea day for 2024 so what is new in the research breakthrough guys well the research breakthrough is pretty decent it does feature three shiny boosted Pokemon which are Lapras Galar Weezing and Galar Mr. Mime Furfru and Gumi are still in the breakthrough full odd shiny rate and Jang Mo'o is in that breakthrough as well now let's talk about the shakeup of the season spawns. So what is gonna be spawning in the city biomes for the Timeless Travels? We have Vulpix, Ampharos, Sneasel, Zigzagoon, Trubbish, Clink, and Nimble. Also for the forest biomes, we have Parasect, Alolan Executor, Scyther, Combi, Dwebble, Passimian, and Smoliv. So we do still have some Gen 9 Pokemon spawning for next season too. Now for the mountains biome, you might find Alolan Geodude, Rhyhorn, Larvitar, Sableye, Bronzer, Roggenrola, and Drillbur. Now for the beaches and water biomes, so if you guys come across some water uh, on the map, this is what you're going to find. Alolan Dug Trio, Shelter, Paldea Wooper, Lotad, Corefish, Clam Pearl, and Gumi. Now the Northern Hemisphere spawn exclusives are Beldum, Padov, Fungus, Deerling, Winter, Chespin, Finnegan, and Froakie. Now for the Southern Hemisphere, you can find the Gen 3 starters, Shroomish, Starly, Gibble, and Summer Deerling. So those are some of the featured season spawns for Timeless Travels. Uh, for the most part, pretty decent, not too bad. I'm going to give you guys a first look at how good these season spawns are on Thursday in my live stream when I play play in New Zealand we'll see how good these spawns are I'm hoping that they will be pretty good and at least a little better than this current season's featured spawns now let's get into the egg hashes so for 2k's we have Pichu, Tyrogue, Smoochum, Togepi, and Smoliv uh to be honest the 2k pool pretty dang good that is actually a pretty good pool now for the 5k's Elekid, Magby, Gen 9 starters, and Palmy. 
So 5Ks are kind of mid, <laughs> definitely not too great. Uh, the 7Ks, they did add Paldea Wooper to the mix alongside the Alolan Pokemon. I'm sure that the Galar Pokemon will still be in the 7Ks too, but they did put in the Paldea Wooper into those 7Ks. 10Ks, Dratini, Beldum, Carbink, and Frigibax. Eh, you know, not too great. There is a few other Pokemon in the 10Ks too, but those are some of the examples. Uh, for the Adventure Sync 5Ks, Cleffa, Riolu, Tortuga, Archon. Decent, I guess. Uh, Adventure Sync 10Ks, Bagon, Dino, Gumi, and Rockruff. Now, for the seasonal bonuses, trainers level 31 and above will receive one guaranteed XL candy when trading Pokemon, also one additional candy when trading Pokemon. Trainers level 31 and higher will have a higher chance to receive XL rare candy from in-person 5-star raids and increase XP for 7-day Pokestop spin streak, and the same goes for increased XP in Stardust for a 7-day Pokemon catch streak too. So the bonuses... Decent, could be better, but yeah, pretty decent for the XL candy. So yeah, that was pretty much a summarization of the blog post posted on their website for the brand new season in terms of seasonal spawns and egg hashes. So yeah, all of that has been summarized. Now let's get into the December content update. What is to come for December? Well, pretty much everything that was leaked has been confirmed right here, uh, but we can talk about the main events coming up and the spotlight hours too. So the Shadow 5-star raid boss featured for December will be Shadow Zapdos. Now for the research breakthrough, we talked about that already. Five-star raids, yes, the leaks were correct. Reshiram, Zekrom, Kurum, and Regigigas are featured. First up is, of course, Reshiram from the 1st to the 9th. Then the 9th to the 16th is Zekrom. 16th to 23rd is Kurum. And the 23rd to the 1st is Regigigas. And the Regigigas should get a brand new move, Crush Grip as well. So yeah, all four of these are in raids for one week each. The Mega Raids were correct too. Scizor, then it's Altaria, then it's the Obama Snow, and then Glalie too. Now for the Spotlight Hours, Feebas is the first Spotlight Hour of December. Do remember Feebas is 1 in 64 shiny rate, so you do have a very good chance of getting that shiny Feebas quite a few times from that Spotlight Hour. The second one will be Seal with two times transfer candy, and then on the 19th will be Snow Runt, not bad, and the 26th will be Vanillite, which yes, shiny Vanillite will be featured for part two of the holiday event so yeah that will be your best chance to go after the shiny ice cream cone so yeah i am pretty excited for that spotlight hour now they will of course get raid hours for the rush ram zekrom kurum and regigigas do remember the recap c day is on the 16th and the 17th i'll make a video about that a few hours after this video gets uploaded now let's talk about the main events featured for december yes a samurai raid day will be happening on the third which is a sunday i'll make a video about that too in that same video with the recap c day so stay tuned for details about that along the routes this will be that routes event that does debut an npc at routes which he should be able to give you gifts i don't know if he's going to give you guys anything else like other items but that should be happening for this event catch mastery event this should debut shiny cryogonal it might feature other ice type pokemon too but shiny cryogonal should at least be featured in this event in some degree adamant time a brand new event on the 11th to the 15th this might be that ditto event so this should feature boosted spawns of ditto it might feature other kanto pokemon too possibly but this should be the event for ditto so if you're looking for shiny ditto this is going to be your best chance coming up on the 11th now for the holiday event part one is starting on the 18th to the 25th there will be a raid day for weird deer so that is a brand new asui pokemon debut and the shiny should be debuted alongside it too a winter wonderland event on the 23rd and 24th we've had that before and also holiday part two will be from the 25th to the 31st that should debut shiny vanillite so yeah that is pretty much a season summary and a december content update so let me know in the comments below guys what are you most excited for is it shiny vanillite is it the dr pikachu shiny shadow ho oh coming up and do remember again Sinnoh tour news will get posted tomorrow morning so stay tuned for that video tomorrow morning guys but yeah if you enjoyed today's video make sure to drop a like in the video subscribe for more and i'll see you guys in the next one peace